He wakes as Jeffrey walks in carrying a gift. Where have you been? I got you a birthday present. I, I didn't want to give it to you at the funeral. I didn't want to distract you. Oh, thanks. I, uh, I got it for you before you broke up with me. And, uh, it's not really my thing, so I thought I might as well give it to you. Oh my god, it's a cuckoo clock. Jesus, shit, that's awesome. Do you, you like that stuff like that, yeah? So much, I like it so much. Quick, set it up now, please. I, I know exactly, I know exactly where this blank piece of, this blank piece of wall has been infuriating me. He hangs the German style cuckoo clock on the wall and adds the attachments. I really like you. Okay. Because like I like I think I really really like you. So I was thinking maybe we could just ignore the things I said before and then just be together and it'll be great. Even even though and we just ignore the fact that I've been a big jerk. Josh, I I can't. Yes, you can. You can. You're only into me when you're feeling needy and alone. No, that's that's not true. And when I'm naked, so. Okay, sure. I mean, I do really like it when you're naked, but not, that's not the only time. I just want to be friends, okay? No. I don't think so, but that's... I guess that's fine. I guess that has to be fine. They sit down. Jeffrey cleans up the strewn wrapping paper. Jeffrey glances at the clock. 